so good to be back here in South Carolina. Hi again, everybody. I'm Derek Scott, host of Gamecock Insider. So great to be back with you talking Carolina basketball. We've got highlights coming up for the men's and women's teams. We're going to go to the film room as well, both with Michi Johnson and Pete Limbo. A lot of fun stuff to get into on today's program. So hopefully you'll hang with us here for the next 30 minutes or so. As we get things started, as always, it is the injury report brought to you by our partners at Prisma Health, the official team physicians of the Gamecocks. For Don Staley and the women's basketball team, Sanaya Fagan has an ankle injury and that cost her the opportunity to play in this past Thursday's game in the road trip at Kentucky. Sanaya going through her treatment and her rehab hopefully will be back in the rotation very, very soon. That's your injury report again brought to you by Prisma Health. Speaking of Kentucky, the men's team was just there as well. Tuesday night, Rupp Arena, a building that has been a house of horrors for most SEC schools, certainly for the Gamecocks, who had only won there twice ever. But things have changed a little bit. Lamont Paris brought his team into Rupp and took down the vaunted Big Blue Nation. The screen out Sheboy and make sure the Gamecocks don't give up a second chance opportunity. Michi Johnson. Directing traffic, tells Gigi Jackson to get out of the way. He's going to run a weave on the right side. Now it comes out to Hayden Brown. Hayden backs his man down. Shot clock to six. Gives to Michi. Michi lets one go. Deep three. Got another one. Michi Johnson rips the court on his third three of the game, and they have all been from deep. Lobs it out top to Michi. He'll try another deep oh. three, and he buries another one. Final seconds of the half. Michi Johnson drives, lobs to Josh Gray, and he catches and dunks it. And the Gamecocks finish off the half with an exclamation point. We got to believe. We got to believe in each other. Believe in what Coach has done for us. We got to just believe, man. Another 20 minutes hey, of believe. Misses the layup, rebound tip, back to Michi, and he puts it up and in. Michi, catch and shoot three, deep one, yeah. got it! <laughs> Some clock as we go towards the four minute mark here in the second half. Media timeout at our next dead ball. Michi gets a ball screen from Josh Gray. We'll drive and kick, GG for three in the corner. Carolina's win snapped Kentucky's SEC leading home winning streak. South Carolina gets its first conference win of the season, first SEC win for Lamont Paris, quite a memorable one at that. Switching gears now to Carolina women's basketball, the number one team in the nation paid a visit to Starkville. They were tested by the Mississippi State Bulldogs, but as usually is the case in the end, Gamecocks were on top. 28, Gamecocks in front. Two minutes gone by in the third quarter. Fletcher dribbles to the top of the circle, passes right to Zion. Working around the zone up top, passing left to Beal, shot clock halfway down. To Boston on the left baseline. She wants a mid-range, 15-footer, got it this time, got the shooter's roll. And the Gamecocks have their largest lead, 36-28. Here's Boston right side, puts it on the floor, trying to drive, knifes her way in, shot up no good, gets her on the rebound, stick back is good. She's fouled, count the basket, chance for a three-point play. And the game Gamecocks lead it 40 to 36. Free throw line to Cole, guarded by Cardoso. Hands it off and ball stolen away and she walked with it. Gamecocks will have it. Jessica 
Carter's stick back won't go. They get another rebound. Weber has her shot blocked. It's knocked out of bounds. Off of whom? Off the Gamecocks, they say. It'll remain with the Bulldogs with 22.7 seconds to play in the quarter. 8.13 to play. Gamecocks lead is seven. Their largest lead has been nine. Couldn't pull away after that. Do some poor shooting. Shot clock down to nine. Raven Johnson dribbling left. Needs some help. Up top to Beal. Beal with four seconds to shoot. Pulls up just inside the arc. It'll get the shooter's roll. Repeat it inside to Cardoso. Back to Boston. She'll try 12-footer. Yes. Gamecocks finally got a mid-range. There's Aaliyah Boston. Builds the lead back up to 851 to 43. Clock at 15. Near corner to Beal. She'll try a three. Got it! Bree Beal. Gotta come back to the basketball. We throw it into Camilla. Camilla lays it up and in. Huge play there. Survive on the road as they knock off Mississippi State 58 to 51 to improve the 16 and 0. Overall 4 and 0 in the SEC. Carolina ladies continue to roll even in a tough place like the hump. Coming up here on Gamecock Insider, we'll stick with the women's basketball theme. We are going to meet one of the newbies. So stick around. This is Gamecock Insider from Learfield. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and by Liberty Tap Room. Liberty Tap Room is the new home for Carolina calls with Gamecock men's and women's basketball. Meet us at Liberty at 6 p.m. on Thursdays during the season for Carolina calls. Liberty Tap Room and Grill, Cocky's favorite place to eat in the Vista. Hey, Gamecock fans. I'm Coach Dawn Staley. The best teams are the ones that are always willing to do more. More in the weight room, more in the classroom, more for each other. And it's important for our team doctors to have the same mindset with access to more locations, more specially trained experts, and more personalized care. Prisma Health is doing even more to care for our team and our fans. Prisma Health, official health care system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. We got freedom. We got power. We got future. So let's drive on and make the future we want to see together. Because your new Ford vehicle is just the start of a journey. So stop by your Ford dealer today and choose one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs ready for delivery. We've been building this country for 119 years, but we're just getting started. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. Gamecock fans, Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this basketball season. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to be Cocky's game day guest. Winners will receive a special invitation to Coach's Radio Show, tickets to that weekend's game, hotel accommodations, and the unique opportunity to join Cocky on the sideline during pregame. Visit uscontest.com to register today. Cocky's game day guest is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance, here for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. It's time for our weekly segment, Meet the Newbies. We've been introducing you to some of the freshmen on the Gamecock men's basketball team. Today, we'll switch gears for the ladies squad. Ashlyn Watkins is from right here in Columbia. She was a standout in skis of the South Carolina Independent School League for Cardinal Newman. She's now a Gamecock. Let's find out a little more about Ashlyn. Watkins tries to go the length of the floor, and she jams it home. Ashlyn Watkins with the dunk when the game clock's on their feet. Probably fifth grade when I started dunking, probably. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, this actually might be my career. Like, I can make this my career. Like, outside of, um, High school, like we had practice in high school every day. So outside of that, before like um, we had practice, started having practice, I used to work out with two of my trainers. I did like 
probably three, four times a week. Um, I don't really know. Like I knew we were gonna win another one because I just knew we was gonna win. So I won. We won four times my whole high school career. My mom traveled with me everywhere, so she was like, she's my rock. She went to every tournament with me, went to every extra thing like McDonald's, the Jordan thing, she was there. Switching gears now, let's take a look at our Pest Player of the Week. It is brought to you by Terminex. Michi Johnson, boy, did he set things on fire in Lexington earlier this week. A new career high, 26 points for Michi, including six three-pointers as he led the Gamecocks upset of the Kentucky Wildcats. Congratulations to Demetrius Michi Johnson. He's from Cleveland, Ohio, so pretty special to be that close to home as he went into the bluegrass and comes away as our Terminix Pest Player of the Week. We're back with more of Gamecock Insider in just a moment from Learfield. When you need to find a new roommate, there's a route for that. Lease a new 2023 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $309 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. I was perfectly happy where I was. I just coached one of the biggest games of my life. Then, just three days later, I was moving to South Carolina. That was unexpected. But that's how life works. Colonial Life's benefits keep you prepared for life's unexpected moments, empowering people to achieve their goals and keep moving forward. Colonial Life, keep unexpected. Gamecock Fans Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this basketball season. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to be Cocky's game day guest. Winners will receive a special invitation to Coach's Radio Show, tickets to that weekend's game, hotel accommodations, and the unique opportunity to join Cocky on the sideline during pregame. Visit uscontest.com to register today. Cocky's game day guest is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance, here for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Good hard work has earned Victoria Saxton the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the women's basketball team, Victoria is getting her master's in coaching education and has a 4.0 grade point average. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. And it comes into Reeves, back to Wheeler. And Severe Wheeler brings it into the front court, has it on the near side wing, drives over to Frederick, three right side, too strong, Sheboy offensive rebound, needs to give it to a guard, does so with five seconds left, Reeves tries a three, that's short, rebound loose on the floor, and that'll do it! That is your Sansbury. did you see that play? Gamecox with the nail biter holding on at the end of regulation to take down the Kentucky Wildcats. Speaking of that win, that also brings us to our film room session. First time we've had an opportunity to do this for the Gamecock men's basketball team. And who else would you want diagramming and diagnosing what went down in Rupp Arena other than Michi Johnson? He was the star of the show, and he's going to tell us a little more about his performance against Big Blue. We got off to one heck of a start here in this game, so let's take a look a little bit. Uh, I did put together a little bit of your highlights okay. here, so we, we, we don't have all 26 points. Okay. I know you had some dimes in there as well, but I want to focus on some of the ridiculous shots that you took, and I want to get your, your thoughts on some of these. But this is starting out here, so uh, like I said, I think we got out to a 13-2 lead. This one's a, a, just a, an inbounds play here. Uh, take me through your thought process. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. You're like, ah, let's just go deeper off the bat here. I felt good, like, going into the game, honestly. I felt that it was going to be one of them type of nights, and I was just like, you know, let's be risky tonight, man. We're we here to – we have nothing to lose. Like, it's, it's win or go home. So, 
I just wanted to come out aggressive, and that's how we started the game. Did you wake up feeling dangerous? Is that a thing? You know what? I made an Instagram post uh, the night before, and literally on the plane on the way to Kentucky, I wrote, like, tomorrow's going to be one of them days. And awesome. I, posted, I posted on my Instagram, um, and I just felt it, man. After that Tennessee loss, I felt confident. I knew that if I had made a couple shots, even in that game, it would have been a little differently. So I just knew that I needed to be myself and be me, you know, to help my team. Win so tonight. it wasn't even a pregame warm-up feel necessarily. Like you felt good. How did you say you felt confident coming out of Tennessee? To talk to me about that. Because although it was a, a tough, um, people sometimes think, man, you get blown out by 40, you can't take away nothing for the game. For me, um, I'm used to everybody seeing me score by shooting the ball. Tennessee game, my, most of my points came from getting to the rim. And I realized that that's one of the best defensive teams in the country, and I can get to the rim on them. I can get to the rim on anybody. Went one for nine against them for three. I knew that if I made some shots, I mean, that game I probably would have had about 25 points too. So it was just about a confidence thing, getting my mechanics and things right and going into this game, and also being the point guard one to control the game and um, help us come out with a victory. So this one's a hot start, a deep three ball there. I think some of the announcers just started laughing at one point because of some of the shots you were making. But So we start out, we're now 9-2 is the score here. Yeah. I was ready for you to pull it there, but this is exactly what you were just talking about. If you could get to the rim yeah. against Tennessee, a really good interior defensive, defensive team, uh, you could probably do it against anybody. So you do here, you get the foul called. I think you knocked down both of these, right? Sure. Yep, okay. So we're starting out. This is where we get to an 11-2 start. So... Uh, are you already feeling good? You made a shot, yeah. drove to the rim. We, I think this is, uh, all right, I got I to gotta put this one on here. You're probably going to hate me for it, but yeah. that's supposed to be obviously an inbounds play, alley-oop pass yeah. to GG, right? Yeah. So can you run it back a little bit because I can see it? If I can figure out I this system here. This, yeah. this, all right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I should have threw a low, but, I yeah. mean, I got the three on this one. So. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, let me, I got to make up for it. There that could, was, there that could, was my whole mindset at yeah. that point. Like, let me make up for this one. There could be a conspiracy they did this on purpose, but yeah. I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> got a clean look. So there you go. Knocked down the three again, and then up back to up 10. So up four here. Again, going right to the rack. Is that something you saw? It looked like he, you kind of had this one here, right? Yeah. Real help behind him. No, nah, no help behind him. Defense is turned away. Got a good shooter coming off a stagger. As soon as I see him turn his head, it's a good opportunity to attack the run weeks um, strong side. Maybe a foul there, but that's I, all right. I definitely <laughs> thought it was a foul, but it's, it's Oscar, so. Yeah, we won't we won't get into it. But all right, so here is where it looked like Hayden. It was in a little bit of a trouble because there was nobody. They had good defense. It was good defensive possession so far. And something I noticed, too, a lot of these deep threes you took, I might give you a break on pulling some of them, one, because you made them, but two, because the shot clock was low on a lot of these. Yeah. There's about five seconds left. You had room, though, right? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Turn hard working days into happy nights. Our battery AK homeowner system starts at just $199.99. Real Steel. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. Hey Gamecock fans, I'm Coach Lamont Paris. The best teams are the ones that are always willing to do more. More in the weight room, more in the classroom, more for each other. And it's important for our team doctors to have the same mindset. With access to more locations, more specially trained experts, and more personalized care, Prisma Health is doing even more to care for our team and our fans. Prisma Health, official health care system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. Don Staley has brought a second national championship back to South Carolina. Throughout my life, my friends and my family have supported me through the championships and the challenges. That's why it's so important for me to lift people up, to help them overcome the obstacles in their way. Colonial Life Benefits keep you prepared for life's unexpected moments, empowering people to achieve goals they thought weren't possible. That's what really matters. Colonial Life, keep unexpecting. When you need to find a new roommate, there's a route for that. 
Lease a new 2023 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $309 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. We're back on Gamecock Insider. We're going right back into the film room thanks to our friends at Gamecocks Plus. This time we're going to visit with Pete Limbo, South Carolina's special teams coordinator, nationally recognized for the season that his squad's put together. Pete's going to take a look at some of the biggest moments for the Gamecock special teams units in the 2022 season. Let's take a look. We thought it would be cool to, to share with you guys today. Uh, we've talked in the past a little bit about some of the pop culture and, and the history and the different things we like to incorporate into our special teams meetings in here. So in addition to the uh, top five impactful special teams plays, we've got some of the impactful movies that, uh, that I've suggested to our team at different times um, that, they, that they've got to watch on their own time uh, as, as part of a, a pop culture lesson. So the first movie that we have was one from my childhood, okay? And, and this was a game changer. You know, I'm 52, and, uh, you know, if, if you're of my era, plus or minus, Jaws uh, was an incredibly impactful movie for you. But the first play we selected... Um, and we talked about blocking punts early in the season. Um, it's easy to forget that this Georgia State game was a close game. Here we are up by six in the third quarter, um, and we're going to get the ball back here, but probably without great field position. And uh, we force a punt, and here we go, and, and block a punt, and not only block it, um, but then... DQ Smith is able to scoop and score it for a touchdown. Uh, and now we make this a two-score game. We get the crowd back into it. Um, and they came out in a totally different punt scheme, as sometimes will happen in the first game of the season, than, than we expected. Uh, we were expecting a three-man shield. They came out in a two-man shield. And so we had to do a lot of uh, adaptation on the sideline, adjustments on the sideline. Um, and we wanted to continue to put pressure on these guys. A lot of times early in the season, um, it's, it's as much about an opponent screwing something up as it is about you executing. Um, and here, Rashad Amos uh, comes clean um, and uses some great technique here uh, to slide his hands across the table and, and take the ball off this punter's foot. Um, this is a combination block and hold up. Um, and, and, um, and here it is, the scoop and score uh, to make this a two-score game. And the first of five punts that we were able to block, uh, another one to seal this game later on. So that was the, the, a great win to start the season, great environment in the stadium that night. Can I ask, you mentioned you having to make adjustments because they came out on something a little different. First off, you're probably going to see that a lot now because people know limbo ball, right? They know to be ready, so you're probably going to have to get used to that, right? But... Secondly, is that tougher for special teams when I'm counting what about six or seven of these guys are on the field for either offense or defense normally? So it's not like when offense is on the field, you can collect everybody and say, here's what we're going to do or deep vice versa. You know, how hard is that? Well, I never carry my phone around uh, on uh, on game day, but I, I should track how many miles yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I put on uh, on the GPS uh, on game day because you're constantly running around trying to catch guys on the bench um, as they come off the field um, and, and make those little uh, minute adjustments that might make the difference between uh, success and failure. Um, and, and it's a lot about expecting the unexpected um, um, because it's just the way it is, right? People change during the week, uh, especially when you're a, a high pressure uh, uh, punt pressure unit, which, which we try to be. So uh, this was clearly one of those games where we had to do a little thinking on our feet and, and get the guys to, to quickly uh, understand the changes that we wanted to make. Um, and it was, it was far from perfect. Um, but again, sometimes it's as much about um, the opponent screwing something up and, and being in position to take advantage of that as it is about, about you executing. And, and this particular play is a little bit of both. So um, great timing here, great uh, change in momentum, uh, and a great opportunity to get the crowd back into it in a big way. Download the Gamecock app and play three points the hard way. Brought to you by Hardee's with the best made from scratch biscuits. 
If the women's basketball team makes three three-pointers in a game, you can score a free sausage biscuit at Hardee's the day after the game during breakfast hours. Get your biscuit at participating Columbia and Spartanburg area Hardee's. Feed your happy and order ahead at hardys.com. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. a little gift and say, welcome to the neighborhood. Oh. And we want to invite you guys out this weekend. We're having a little tailgate in the cul-de-sac. Yeah, go get ducks! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> right? Right? Put it all back. Babe, get your stuff. Yeah, it matters that much. There will always be bumps in the road. But we got guts, America. We got freedom. We got power. We got future. So let's drive on and make the future we want to see together. Because your new Ford vehicle is just the start of a journey. So stop by your Ford dealer today and choose one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs ready for delivery. We've been building this country for 119 years, but we're just getting started. For over 40 years, Sound & Images has been South Carolina's corporate multimedia partner for live events. Sound & Images is also your resource for commercial audiovisual installations. Help your teams collaborate more efficiently with a custom-crafted AV solution from Sound & Images. Whether you want a single monitor upgrade or a turnkey AV system, we are dedicated to helping you incorporate easy-to-use technology into your space. And we offer the best-in-class support and service. Elevate your AV. Call Sound & Images today. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and by Liberty Tap Room. Liberty Tap Room is the new home for Carolina calls with Gamecock men's and women's basketball. Meet us at Liberty at 6 p.m. on Thursdays during the season for Carolina calls. Liberty Tap Room and Grill, Cocky's favorite place to eat in the Vista. Back to wrap things up on this week's edition of the Gamecock Insider. Before we go, let's talk a little bit about our On the Road segment. It's brought to you, as always, by our friends at Toyota. The Gamecock ladies are going to be on the road this coming Thursday as they will be headed to Music City to take on the Vanderbilt Commodores. That's On the Road, brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. And that will wrap things up for us this week on Gamecock Insider. Thanks so much for joining us. Until next week, I'm Derek Scott. We'll see you later. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.